Okay, before we get to our next lesson, I just want to show you something that I have loved to use with children. It's called an abacus. Here's how you spell it. A-B-A-C-U-S, an abacus. In some countries in the Middle East, or in, um, like in China, in, the, in Asia, they may um, use these you can, as quickly as we would do a calculator. So um, you can have this set up and children can play with it. They can get used to the fact that they're working with it. They can feel them. And every time they move something over, they're getting an, they'll be having an opportunity to, to um, practice counting. So you could say, for example, show me three yellow, um, three of these yellow ones. And so I don't know what they're called, so I'm just going to say yellow ones. And they would count one, two, three. Okay, can you do that again? Three more yellow ones? One, two, three. How about five greens? One, two, three, four, five. Now, if they're just starting to learn the number one, we can just practice it with one. Show me one yellow. Show me another yellow. One yellow. Show me one blue. Show me one green. Show me one red. All right, this seems so simple, but it's already showed them this is what one looks like compared to everything else. That's a huge concept, and it's the beginning of, it's the basis of so much understanding in math. So don't, you know, think that this is just too um, silly to, to begin with. It's no help at all. It's practice, practice, practice. And it is also um, creating brain trees that say this means one. This means one. And then later on, when they know how to count more, one and one is two, one, two. Or we can count them all. How many are on this side? One, two, three, four, five. Those are such great skills, such great number skills. Okay, now um, we, I want to talk about um, rhythm and how uh, numbers are in rhythm. Did you know that there are many musicians who actually have a background in math? Those two things go together, and it has a lot to do with rhythm. Okay, so we're going to sing a song, um, Three Blind Mice. Three Blind Mice, Three Blind Mice. See how they run, see how they run. They all ran after the farmer's wife who cut off the tails with a carving knife. Did you ever see in your life this three blind mice, three blind mice, three blind mice? You would be surprised at how important that is because it is solidifying inside of them what numbers do, what they sound like, um, the fact that they actually do have a sequence. Three blind mice, three blind mice. You can do those rhythm sticks. If you're um, playing music, you can have them tap out the rhythm and count as they're tapping out the rhythm. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. And if you don't have rhythm sticks, you can just use wooden spoons. One, two, I can say. All right, I'm going to tap twice. Now you do it. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And as they get more aware of what um, the other numbers are, you can increase it. You can even increase it now because they're just going to repeat your words. They'll learn late, later what those words mean as you use the abacus, as you use your cards. All of that thing gets reinforced, but every time you use a number, it's increasing the size of the brain tree, it's increasing the branches on the brain tree of numbers, and it's increasing their understanding. It's so fabulous. So before we leave, I'm just going to remind you that you can do something as simple as holding up containers like this and asking them to count and saying the numbers after them or having them repeat it when you count, if they're just learning. One, two, three. We have a picture here. How many children are in this picture? One, two, or one girl. 
one boy. See how easy it is to use numbers? And every time those words come out of their mouth, that means that they're getting smarter about what numbers mean and what numbers do and how to use them.